Good morning. This is taken from a devotion on the Bible app, Make Space for What Matters, Spiritual Disciplines. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful, Joshua 1.8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Philippians 4.8 Spiritual Habits Meditation Work, school, relationships, health issues, bills, global pandemics. With so much going on in our lives, it's easy to get distracted from the things we actually want our lives to be about. So pause for a moment and take a deep breath. As you exhale, envision laying down whatever worries or distractions are competing for your attention. Then focus on these words. The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. Job 33.4 Think about the verse for a moment. Reread it slowly and pay attention to every word. As you reflect on that passage, consider this. Your breath is sustained by the One who breathed you into existence. Although life may feel overwhelming at times, you are never far from the God who created and called you by name. Pause again. What you just walked through with a simple example of scripture meditation. Meditation is referred to multiple times in the Bible as a way for followers of God to refocus and reflect on his words. Meditation is not something that can be done in our own strength. It involves drawing near to God and asking him to make his thoughts and ways known to us. Biblical meditation helps us see our circumstances from a holy perspective because we are allowing what is holy to influence our perspectives. When we choose to set aside time to meditate on scripture, we are choosing to shift our focus onto God and his word and off of ourselves and our world. We are allowing God to transform our thoughts and reshape our worldviews. So as you prepare for the weeks ahead, try intentionally fixing your mind on God and his word every day. Take action. Get God's word into you during Lent by memorizing today's verses. As you do this, pay attention to any words or phrases that stand out to you and ask God to clarify what he wants you to learn from that verse. Thanks for joining me. Blessings to you and yours. Thanks for taking this devotion moment with us. We hope you were encouraged by it. Share it with a friend or to your page to share it forward.